Okay guys, what's up? So it's been a little while, but I'm still here and alive. Uh, this is an OU match from PO, obviously. Um, and the reason you haven't been seeing any Wi-Fi battles is because my Wi-Fi password changed and <laughs> I haven't been able to uh, get it from my brother. Uh, he set up my computer when he changed it uh, for himself, so I haven't um, actually just gone and got the password, so I haven't been able to play in a long time. Um, but it does not mean I'm not still enjoying this game. I am. I just haven't played in a while. I haven't had a whole lot of time. Um, got a girlfriend. I've got school. It's just been busy. So uh, it's not me kind of shunning this game or being bored by it. Uh, I kind of went through a phase where all I did was play Pokemon for a while, but that's not really what I'm doing now. So uh, anyway, yeah. So there will be some battles again eventually. Um, but right now I've got this. I've got a Let's Play that I'm currently recording. I'll probably start uploading it soon since it's going to be, it could potentially be a long let's play. Um, it is uh, <laughs> Pokemon Pinball from Ruby and Sapphire, as weird of a game that is to let's play. Uh, it's pretty fun, so I thought I'd do it. Um, and uh, I've got a little bit of Call of Duty I can put up. I've got some really big scores to put up, so uh, I'm excited for that. A um, couple of big dome games and stuff like that. Um, and I can obviously still post PO. Um, and I don't think I have any leftover Wi-Fi battles right now, um, but I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna try and get something, you know, so, uh, we'll see what happens, but anyway, uh, obviously this is an OU match, I was using a Drizzle team, not a whole lot to talk about, um, I froze this thing to death, uh, but he left it in, uh, a lot, just trying to get the freeze off when he really couldn't touch me with it, um, I came in with a Toxic Croak, and that was when the freeze really mattered, um, when I was able to get up this plus two and just, uh, drain punch this thing, um, I thought maybe a plus two drain punch would be enough to kill, but it doesn't, but fortunately enough for me, he's gonna leave it in and let it die, uh, it, it froze for a really long time, so that was really hexy, but at the same time, uh, it really wasn't, it, I mean, other than against the Toxic Croak, it wasn't doing anything against my Ferrothorn, I could have sat in there and, and set up on him all day, um, here I thought uh, maybe he would over predict and not go for the earth power again this time, uh, just try and stall me out of a sucker punch or maybe switch so that my sucker punch wouldn't do anything. So I was going to go for the drain punch, um, but he stayed with the safe play earth power. Not that big of a deal because um, now it's a 5-3 game. Uh, here I should, I, I switch out because uh, I need this thing to get some damage on it before I can kill it with a volt switch. Um, and I didn't know how much damage I needed on it. So I went out to Ferrothorn just to get some uh, some of the iron barbs, and I'm going to go out to Politoed just to get a little bit of that scarf damage on it. Um, so now I know he's at plenty of a range for me to kill with a Volt Switch, so I'm going to bring in the Rotom, kill him with a Volt Switch, and uh, that's going to be GG for the Azumarill. And uh, now I think all that's left is a Jirachi and uh, something else that was not a big deal. Obviously Terrakion's going to be able to finish this off as Iron Heads are... Gonna do really good damage, but not enough to kill, which means I'll be able to kill this next turn. Even though I'll lose to Rakion, it's not a big deal, because all he has left is Heatran, and I've still got Rotom, which will obviously take care of this. Um, so no biggie. He doesn't really have anything to touch Rotom with on Heatran, even if I had missed the Hydro Pump. So uh, yeah, that's GG, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.